Now, what I think is distinctive about Perkins is the extraordinary theological diversity. You can tell there's always a certain kind of music in the air, and that music may change, say, from one group of faculty to another. And what I love about that is that it really fosters uh, what I think is at the heart of theological education, which is the creation of the ability to make good judgments. We are liberal in the small L sense of that word, and let me make that as a distinction. Big L liberal Protestant means a particular movement within 19th and 20th century Protestant thought and churchmanship. A small L liberal, which I am in spades, is simply somebody who says, lay it on the table, where's the evidence, say it as clearly as you can, and make up your mind according to the, 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 the best judgment that you can muster. And if I hadn't believed that that's what Perkins was about, I would never have come here, and I wouldn't have stayed here. And now I'm like a kid in a candy store, and I'm here for the long haul and love it. One of the hallmarks of Perkins is uh, team teaching. Now, team teaching is a very delicate art, and I often think actually the team teaching is made in heaven. <laughs> because it's not just a matter of getting two people in the same room. You've also got to be committed to intellectual virtue and you've got to be committed to teaching the students. It's a great discipline for me as a professor because I'm not just accountable to smart students who are sitting out there watching and listening. I also have to articulate my position in the presence of a colleague who will more than likely take me to task and in fact create an atmosphere in which we can all grow together. So I think the team teaching component which was built into this, particularly in systematics, was there from the beginning and it has been sustained and nurtured all down through the years. Another factor that's vital I think to the intellectual health and indeed spiritual health of, of Perkins is our international students. After finishing my degree at Perkins, I'm hoping to go for my PhD in systematic theology. And thereafter, I'm hoping to go back to Africa and train pastors. You've got to be able to articulate why you think the Christian faith is true and why other people should give their lives to it. And so, my own judgment at this stage is that, uh, you know, we have our own challenges at Perkins, we're not perfect, but the, the core intellectual and spiritual values that I think have been built into this equip us to tackle these things um, robustly and aggressively and I hope with, uh, with clarity and conviction. <laughs>